I mean, long story Don't short. Worry. Oh, yeah, go I, ahead. I was gonna get to the. Uh, yeah, the recap point that. Uh, what happened? That party got some loot from the. Uh, from the totem place. And right, for Helugandr, you, you also get to pick between. Uh, either a plus one. Uh, Armor potency rune that gives you like you know plus one to AC or uh, plus one striking rune on a weapon. I'll take the armor potency rune because I can. Uh... Did I grab that feat? Did I did I mess up? Was that for all... did we did we gain that as a collective group? Uh... Yes, every player character got like they could have picked like one rune either for weapon or for armor. Ah. Plus, there was other loot. Some of it is already. Uh, uh, oh my god! I did... <laughs> some some people called dips. Uh, what is left uh, that you can go to actors like the party page, and there's this like uh, icon that's open sheet and it shows like the entire party sheet and there is uh, there are like non taken items are in stash. I'm a, I'm a actual, I'm a fucking retard. Um, oh god, I thought, I thought it was just the one rune between the four party members. No, everyone got one. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, I don't need fucking runic weapon then in that case. Ugh. Well, you picked the armor rune, didn't you, bitch? Mm. I mean, oh, I even, I, we even have this, the Serpent Resignary, we even had this talk, I, I even told yourself that, that I said, ah, oh, <laughs> Donut will be like, maybe, like, I wonder how Donut will react when he will learn that he can get a rune on yep, a weapon. Yep, yep. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Donut's taking it surprisingly well. That was my reaction. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but for some reason, my, my mind, I don't, I don't really have any excuses. I was in the fucking corner at the time for listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my mind went to, okay, it's one person getting a rune, fair enough. Um, yeah, I didn't quite realize it was for everyone, so... Uh, I haven't actually added a rune to my sheet. <laughs> well, I, I, I went through I went through that Black Cross fight without any of the runes. <laughs> With neither rune. I mean, you get either or, essentially. I know. In terms of items. And... Oh, I grabbed God. myself the potency rune. I can't use it yet, because I did not grab that feat, because I didn't know when to expect it. I, that, that, but I'll that's... certainly grab it next. Yeah, that's the fair one. Is it a potency or a striker rune? Was it a potency, a striker rune, or is it just two for one, basically? <clears throat> for, for, they are. for armor, it's just like the, 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 the thingy that gives you like plus one to AC, only that. It's not like resilient. Okay. Uh, for, for weapon, it's plus one striking. So it's potency plus one and striking. Okay, I'm, I'm putting it on my fucking sword then, in that case. <laughs> I'm I'm so fucking retarded. I swear to fucking god, I don't know how you guys. I mean, I, I I literally assumed that's what you were you did last session that uh, you you decided to like you didn't take the runic spell because you put the rune <laughs> the item on your weapon. No, I I thought we only had oh, oh god, I thought we only had the one rune between the four of us. So I kept the runic weapon, but I thought there was going to be a fight after. Hence, where I didn't use the spell. <laughs> <laughs> against mm. that fucking fight. Mm. <laughs> 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 Fuck! <laughs> uh, yeah, so there was... The... So much easier! Yeah, yeah, there was the fighty thing. Uh, or rather, there was like gather, getting loot thing. Uh, then you started uh, traveling uh, back uh, towards the citadel, but you have found another body with a missing brain uh, one of the frost giants like hunter gatherers was found by you with missing brain and because uh, tetrick rolled uh, derp's character rolled natural 20 on survival for like total of 30 something 32 i think uh yeah you basically found tracks leading to the general area where the brain collector is residing basically you are coming here uh, to basically fuck him up. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, in that fight, it wasn't very hard. Curse only had to rise from the dead like two or three times. Mm. Right. <laughs> okay, well, I need to change my spell then in that case, because I... 
Fuck that. <laughs> oh, right. And yeah, you also fought with like two Black, fr black Frost uh, zombies along the way. Mm hmm. The most important, interesting thing about that was the loot. Mm hmm. It was like a, a scepter staff or something that you, we thought you might be able to use. Where's the loot? I mean, here's the thing. I'm pretty sure that Tetric took that item, the, the one thing. I'm also looking for the loot list. I just see our sheets and then the party token. Uh, yeah, so when you have like the... I'm gonna activate my... Uh, uh, share my screen. Sounds good to me. So, if you have actors, then there's the party. And you have this icon, open sheet. I'm sorry. Uh, then it opens this, and then you have stash. Uh, uh, yeah, a sub page. Um, double click it. Hmm. I mean, single single click works. And you basically you you don't need to like add manually to your character sheet. You can just drag from here onto your character. Oh, nice. Which I would prefer like in the future because I did see that some people had items from the stash list, but it they, it was not taken from here, so I had to like disable it to prevent like spontaneous uh, oh. coping. Yeah, in which case the. Uh... Ba -ba -bum. I don't know, did you take the bronze ball pendant? Uh, no, I didn't, because I can't really make use of the ability to shove things. I think the pendant it. allows you to shove even with the hand to handle weapon. Uh, let me have a quick look. Uh, item stash, uh, the bronze ball pendant. Uh, no, because no, because the, the thing is, is that you need to you need to have a hand free to begin the shove. Mm hmm. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, I can't you're really just thinking about the wording. You activate the pendant attempt and athletics check. Yeah. So, yeah. so the, so, so the thing is, is that in order to even attempt the athletics check to shove, you have to have a hand free. Mm -hmm. the, the... Spotted... Hmm? Sorry, what? Why not just spotted kick them? Because that, that was more or less my reaction. <laughs> yeah, and un unfortunately, yeah, the uh, the the requirement for shoving and tripping is you have to have a hand free, which makes it so probably normally uses them. Mm -hmm. Get some one. There are there are ways to do attacks, uh, to do like combat maneuvers with jointed weapons, but it does require like some some feet investment, monk dedication. Monk dedication. There's the baller archetype, as well. Oh, which... Yeah, brawler. I forgot that was also. Is brawler a thing? Uh, mauler. Mauler. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a two-handed weapon spec that allows you to uh... do stuff with two-handed weapons, like hit the ground and crack it, and then or sh knock people down uh, with a two-handed weapon. Reminds me that I need to do my. Uh... Two up and fighting with uh, Earthbreakers in a Pathfinder 1 campaign. <laughs> Dual wielding giant hammers. Mm. Yep. Even better is doing it with, when they're large by picking up a level of uh, Titan Fighter. Or I think it's two levels, but still. I think I'm going to grab. I think I'm going to grab. Uh... I'm glad none of us is dual wielding since the doubling rings is basically hey, you get abilities on both of your weapons. <laughs> what do I want to replace my first level spell with? We have a we have somebody with bless, right? <sighs> I have bless. Not sure cool. if I'm gonna use it or not. Well, no, I'm I'm just asking. I'm grabbing Bane. <laughs> I don't see a I don't see a staff here. No, in which case our fellow frost giant will pick it. Uh, yeah, there was no stuff. Mm -hmm. There was the wand of uh, white, wand of white. I think it was. Yes, I see it in Tetrix's uh, equipment, so I sent Derp to it. Yeah, what was it? A wand of what? White oh, egg. Oh, I yeah. posted it in shot. It increases like the rate. It increases like yeah, bursts or 
cones or lines by like however much it says there. I mean that'd be great. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna get Bane. I think. Yeah. Just imagine putting that on a fireball. Yeah. That's yeah. the only work for level one. Oh, first. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, first mm -hmm. rank, unfortunately. So, so. I don't actually think I can put it on the Rise of Thunder Street. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately not. So I actually have no use of it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, I, th I, I th yeah, I think that's what we did because of the fact I think we can view each other's light sheets. I think. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> it w had a quick look through as well. It's like, yeah, you can't make you can't. Make yeah, hello, good day. Can't make use of that. <laughs> Gonna be uh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, put this on. Oh god! Man, it feels good to have this uh, two damage die. Mm. Yep, it it probably will. And yeah, if it gets to combat uh, and if there doesn't show up, then I'm gonna give you control over character in combat sure i mean i feel like it's more reasonable to just like give have like one or two enemies go for him it just speeds up combat rather than not having to learn his entire character cheat mm -hmm. if, if he was a fighter i'd be like all right cool uh i don't want to fuck with the summoner <laughs> oh shit wait what the fuck is oh mm -hmm. wow so oh some things are actually okay cool uh, oh, mm. it's gonna be a while until i get this spell but I mean, I want to do it. Can I? Like... There's a reason I'm not yeah. playing a summoner. That is. I might try it next time, but not. Look at this cool attack. I'm gonna have to. The fabric of space, okay? Oh, I can't to getting that spell. <laughs> I'm gonna have to quickly just. I did this. not, because it doesn't quite uh, fit with my build, but. Yeah. Love the crit success, double damage, teleport an enemy somewhere. Okay, so okay, so I'm, I'm having I'm having just a quick look through my feats because Foundry seems to be getting updated with um, the remaster. Yeah, there was one more update they released today, but uh, I've decided to not update it just yet because otherwise it would. I like didn't want to. Well, risk it's, it. it's, more, it's it's more on the feet side of things. Um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes things may not show. Yeah, you have to input the new the new feats basically. <laughs> uh, okay, that is I think all, I think that all lines up there. It might not. The update might have them if that makes sense. But he hasn't updated it yet. I mean, there were two updates very recently, and one I did. Uh, the other one was like, like literally today, and I didn't do it because it still takes a few minutes to like. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't make that much of a difference. Okay. Yep. Yeah, okay. I mean, see, I'm special. I can trip people from sixty feet away. Damn. Or disarm, shove, or reposition. Oh no, you actually get to do it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, of those, depending on what we're fighting, disarm seems like a hilarious thing to disarm. do. Disarm is such a BS thing to do, right? It's like if the enemy has this cool ass weapon that they're, all their feet are centered around and you steal it. And they're like, oh well, I guess I give up and die. <laughs> Guess I'll like, die. Oh, we're, we're fighting some barbarian with this really cool axe. So hey, he doesn't have an axe anymore. <laughs> what the fuck is that spell? Blink charge? What the fuck? Uh. And it that. uses a spell attack roll instead of an athletics roll. Mm -hmm. I just, I which just... is plus twelve right now for me. <laughs> My two spells are bane and harm. <laughs> <laughs> My two spells are bane and harm. <laughs> 
I don't have Blink Charge. I wish I did, but I'll get it in. Like so, a so the question is: Does do those four count as attack rolls? Uh, what four? Sorry, disarm, shove, reposition, and trip. Uh, they count as a. They count. They have the attack trait. They don't count as strikes. If that's what you're asking. Could I use uh, two strike on him? Uh, post the thing. Uh, here's true strike. Here's uh, telekinetic maneuver. Uh, y yeah. When you make an attack roll, yeah, you can. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't specify strikes, so yeah. You can that is a wonderful combo, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there a way to sort spells on this side, on the foundry, hmm? by like level? Uh, I mean. Pretty sure there are. It should have been. Yeah, it does yeah, it's automatically. Right. Yeah. They're not doing it for me. It also should have like a whole bunch of filters. No, not when, you're, when, you're when you're searching spell, it says ranks and it has check marks next to them. And it goes first to tenth. Yeah, open spell browser and you have like categories and yeah, ranks. Which spell? Browser are you using? Because okay, you know, again, uh, okay. sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay, so I'm opening your character sheet. And then uh, you have, for example, like a a anywhere, like this like magnifying glass icon. You see? Oh, nice. That's very convenient. Good yeah, thing. and you have like, you can like change filters for like ranked spells. Oh, what are your thoughts on the uncommon spell? I think Donald was like, don't take them. Hmm? We're not supposed to take uncommon spells? Huh? What? Uh. And Donald, you said there was like I've... uncommon spells or something like that? Are there rare spells that we shouldn't take or something? I mean, the uncommon and rare stuff is basically ask the GM and hope they say yes. <laughs> oh. Hey GM, can I take uncommon and rare stuff? <laughs> what is it? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Like, half my sheet. <laughs> 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 but ba basically uncommon stuff is stuff that you know you can you can sort of ask the gm and you know ho generally hopefully get away with uh the rare tag is basically um basically signaling to the gm make this a story beat <laughs> um oh, so yeah okay But like, are we talking that's... about a spell or what? In re, what they're <laughs> thinking of? Hey, donut! I can cast this on you, right? Uh, <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> no, I'm not an undead minion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you sure? That's a lot of health. <laughs> I'm not. I'm 99 percent sure. I'm not sure. my anathema. No, I'm not. I'm sure. I violate my the tenets of evil. <laughs> Let one who is less than you will power over you or lead you. <laughs> no, I'm not less than you in any way, Minion. <laughs> <laughs> What's this fucking spell? Horrifying bloodlust. Yeah. Uh, okay. Honestly, to make it easier for. Uh, myself, in this case, as we are learning the system, I'm gonna say, yeah, all right, go for it. But I reserve the right to, if it's seeing how this how this is gonna work in the future, to ch change my opinion. I mean, that's definitely fair. <laughs> like I imagine that. Due to everything that happened, when there is yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a resurrection and thing, even... and... Oh. and I will say I have an hour less than I expected. Oh, uh -oh. probably get started then. Yep. Hmm. All right. All right. So you didn't hear. Uh, essentially, yeah, you can go for like the uncommon rare stuff as we are learning the system. So I don't want to limit the tool toolbox for the players but i reserve the right to reconsider change my opinion in the future 
if it turns out that's like completely uh, broken. Two, my runes yard dedication feat is uncommon, and my eye of the arc lords is uncommon. Okay, uh, can you post it to chat so I can like see what the, what does it do? I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Oh, there it is. There's the button. Mm hmm. Magic dark. Is that, uh, is that a level one spell? Feet? Or ah. What is it? Those are both feats. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I mean, of course, fluff wise, like the access thing, it doesn't really work because that's not, not the setting. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't even see those when I was grabbing the feet, just because it didn't uh -huh. pop up. Bone Shaker is apparently uncommon. Okay. Shake the bones. Oh yeah, for now I'm I'm, I'm alright with that. Okay. So if you have like hour less, does it mean that like you have to go like in an hour, or I'm not sure how that works? I have works. to go in like two hours. Ah, okay, um, that that's that's all right. We are that's gonna be around the time when we are finishing either way. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, as basically literally where we ended uh, is that you have uh, arrived at the bottom of the uh, mountain, uh, small mountain range that. Um, is somewhere within those peaks. Uh, you know, there's a layer of uh, of uh, the brain collector that is apparently still harassing your uh, still harassing uh, your tribe members. It's uh, evening, or rather, it's the night. So. Uh, Rightfully deciding that trying to scour the mountains during the night is basically asking yourself to die. Uh, asking for death. You set up the camp. Uh, yeah, You take uh, watches. You are able to be, be on guard but still be able to take a good solid night's uh, rest. Uh, surprisingly... For specification. Hello mm -hmm. yonder... Um... Buries himself in the snow to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Something yep. about having a bearer, bearer speed. Mm hmm. Okay. The worm has gone to the dirt. Mm hmm. I mean, if you say that out loud, you might be getting a fireball on top of your <laughs> What do you mean? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and come bright, early, snowy uh, morning, just as the first rays of morning sun uh, cross the horizon and go over the mountains, you move out and begin your trek through the mountains, which obviously they don't have convenience uh, paths like in the modern world when you can, like, tourists can walk through... <clears throat> like cobbles and puffs and whatnot, you have to like trek through tough, difficult, uneven, rocky, dangerous uh, terrain. <coughs> and again, in this land, there is um, uh, quite a lot of snowing. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna double check, but who has the best... Uh, like survival out of everyone. That would be our resident summoner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna say that basically he's like that's his like NPC resource duty to be the uh Has he not been he's not been increasing his fucking skill ranks. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, so I'm not gonna <clears throat> Of it as it happening because to basically carry the uh, from that um, natural 20 uh, success, 
However, while Tetrick is focusing on actually leading you towards the uh, enemy, I would like to ask uh, everyone else uh, to roll me a perception check. It's about like half an hour into... No, sorry. It's about an hour into your <laughs> trek into the... Into the journey. Alright, so as a <laughs> reminder, uh, yeah, because it's a new session, so everyone starts with one uh, hero point. Alright. Uh, okay. So, with those results... Uh, I don't see shit. Mm. Yes. You are, because obviously it's mountains, it's snowing, and there is wind howling from time to time, so it covers the sound of an incoming avalanche. <laughs> so, I would, so I would like ask to... Uh, oh yeah, actually, I would have to ask specifically a resident uh, party member that can fly uh, as we are trekking through the mountains. Uh, it's a maybe redundant question, but I need to ask it. Uh, like, how are you going? Uh, Flying. Yeah. Okay. But like, uh, low, high? Are you like chatting with us? Mm -hmm. Sometimes, but since we're kind of expecting enemies, I'll probably be a bit higher. Mm -hmm. Trying to scout ahead a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scout above, I suppose, would be the way to say it. Mm -hmm. But, um... <laughs> I remember one of the things that I got as a frost drake was I was able to see through snow. Like, through... Like, the, the weather didn't affect me. Uh, for my sight. So which was helpful. Uh, yeah, so no no penalty was incurred. It's still a roll of 13. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know. It's still <laughs> shit. I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> saying that's why I can fly through the snow and not care. Yeah, so it's more of a case that, uh, like, you see the snow moving, but your brain it just, like, registers after a moment that, wait, hold on a minute, there's a whole lot of snow moving very fast <laughs> down the yeah. mountain. And, uh, yes, yeah, so I would like to ask, uh, yeah, Howard and Kurzol uh, to give me a, a reflex save to basically see if you can... Actually, hold on, maybe... Mm. Like, obviously, you, because of that failed perception, you do not have enough time to react to simply, like, you know, avoid it without further uh, check. Just like, oh, just, you know, speed things up. So, like, uh, would you be trying to go for, I don't know, like, reflex, trying to dive behind some sort of cover, or do you, like... Uh, Basically, I'm giving you an option, like, if you wanted to use something... You said what's going after them? Uh, avalanche. Okay. As I don't have any real ways of getting out of, out of here, and I'm not fast enough to avalanche, try to get to cover. Mm -hmm. Gonna do the same. Is this technically a damaging effect? Uh, yes, it can definitely damage you if you if you get, like, you know, I... <laughs> the, hit with the, it the... full force. Yeah, the, the the reason that I ask is um, oh don't if it's not oh, I, can't, I can't fucking link the bulwark tree. Technically, God it's not it. it's not like an it, there's no attack roll. It's about that it is like if you fail, you 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 get damage. Essentially, yeah, the the saving throw us uh, yeah the DC for saving against that will be uh, uh, twenty. Yeah, um, that'd yeah, be so, hilarious. If there was an attack roll, you can just parry it. Well, it, it yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's less than it's more that for the ball tray on reflex saves to avoid a damaging effect, you add a plus three modifier instead of your dexterity modifier. Uh, yes, that would apply. Cool. Okay. Cool. Nice. Well, fifteen or higher, we believe. No, <laughs> we are both caught out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, thankfully. Those are not crit fails. Uh, so you do. So apart from getting damage, you do not get buried. Uh, because that's also the th thing uh, regarding um, avalanches. Because that's yeah, they are like actually described as a 
environmental hazard in the rules <clears throat> so you do not get buried and you are pretty large and sturdy creatures but still the wave of uh, like snow even if snow itself is like not heavy the, the pure force of such a mass is enough to uh, hurt you quite a bit I'm gonna roll this well well, it's more so the landslides than avalanches, but definitely still with avalanches. It's not as much as the snow that's hurting them, as the things that the snow is carrying. Get smacked over by trees and all kinds of dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Ew. Like, uh, mudslides is just a bunch of water running down a mountain, which sounds reasonable until you realize the water's uh, filled with stones and trees and other sorts of debris. To be fair, the water is also kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. That too. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, 20, 26 damage, is that right? Yes, that's not magical bludgeoning damage. Okay. Now comes that. Yeah. What was it? Now, hmm? I feel like it would have been hilarious if I was on the ground, because I could just dive into the avalanche and not care. And dive yeah. underneath the snow, pop up again. Where the hell is everyone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, also, uh, yeah, with those perception checks, uh, yes, you are unable to notice uh, any origin or any reason why this avalanche happened conveniently uh, in the area that you are traveling through. Sure, you are I not... I've already cursed out we're fighting too loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can, like explain it to yourselves uh, that way. <laughs> That's what I can say. Well, I'll be king of this land whether it wants to or not. He shakes his head. Uh, I applaud the... Hmm? Oh, I, applaud, I applaud it for the attempt. <laughs> We're <laughs> both just sh uh, kicking this 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 snow. <laughs> you guys yeah, see Heligander hovering above you with a draconic eyebrow raised. Uh -huh. I probably well, it, but... well, was a warning worm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> I have no need to pay attention to the ongoings of the surface. Uh, yes, you were just... It is all beneath me. He chuckles at his pun. Gersel, <laughs> um, just looking at the harbor, just like, a look, do we really need this guy? <laughs> 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 oh. Play players come across the dragon. Dragon's hoard his puns. Mm hmm <laughs> mm -hmm. There's no more dragon, no more puns. Ah, <laughs> uh, just one more thing to hate. <sighs> All right. As uh, Hayward is just going to start healing himself <laughs> with that ability of his. Oh, Hayward's touching himself as well. What is this company? Mm. <laughs> <Deep>. <laughs> I can apply because it's no okay. Well, that puts me up to that. Cool. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, depending on how long it takes for us to get elsewhere, I'll, I'll have either got a focus point back or healed myself up to full. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, thankfully, no further avalanches happen or no other uh, attacks as. Uh, you're able to, after an hour or so... Okay. I'm back at full uh, health. Finally, actually, I need to, like, prepare the, the tokens first. I forgot to put them in. Under. 
voice find. Is it a circumstance or is it a... Oh, it's status money. Fuck! Okay, I... Um, I, in fact, do not take Bane. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. And for a while, as it does feel that this area is not fully welcoming. Or rather, you're not stupid enough to do not, not know that, yeah, sure, avalanches do happen. But knowing that this is the area where your enemy resides, definitely. Uh, gives another... Mm. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm. Sense of trepidation. And you are able to locate uh, entrance to a natural uh, cavern, which... To explore inside. I'm gonna put you on a map. Uh, yeah, I know that uh, the map itself might look like some of the passages are very... Uh, very uh, narrow. Uh, I set the walls in a way that you should be able to pass through. Obviously, sometimes you have to like go one after another uh, because you realize those passageways are not very wide, and the ceiling itself, uh, for simplicity, for, for simplicity's sake, on average, is uh, uh, like ten feet. Hi. So, it doesn't seem to actually be an issue, but why are our tokens kind of transparent? Uh, they shouldn't be transparent. That might then, be the, the fog effect. Yeah, as I said, okay. Not, okay. Not transparent. It's that fog effect. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, Havard will take the lead. Yeah, and this and doesn't happen. Fog, actually, yeah. yeah, it doesn't happen immediately. It's like you arrive here after like 10 minutes of. Uh, trekking for a maze of tunnels within this uh, mountain and when like it become the area becomes more misty almost milky and cold but cold doesn't bother you uh, you start getting a feeling that you are up going in the right um, direction uh, as a sign I, I would assume that Tetric would have probably healed uh, Kurzel uh, yeah, with an hour, he, oh, wait, two hours. So he would like only have like uh, two chances to do so. Yeah, it would be the, uh, just at the end of the avalanche, then just as we get in here, mm. uh, from the sounds of it, because it's taken us an hour to get to the very front entrance, and then it's taken us another ten minutes. Oh, that is a critical success. Uh, oh, that is a critical success. <laughs> Those are two. That's a uh, forty-eight. Yeah, for, forty-eight. Of two lots, so eighty-eight. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, so Kurzul gets that. Yeah. Applied. Was that exactly enough? Oh no, you don't. Well, we only took. Yeah, we took less than that. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised if we gave the full amount of healing as opposed to just the uh, the damage. Okay, well, Hayward is heading on in. Uh, he's going to obviously draw his greatsword. Uh, as it now always thrums to life, thanks to that rune in it. Uh. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I was gonna ask, can we see this? Ah, uh, right, I forgot to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. I need to. I, I need to make a roll. Uh, I always have. No, wait. Not not roll. You need to make perception check to notice it. I I believe. Do yeah, indeed. <laughs> so bless you. Yeah, I think that the, yeah, DC is twenty four. Okay. Well, let's make those perception checks, boys. There's almost a three again. <laughs> it's a four for me. <clears throat> mm. Alright. So, yeah, only... Yeah, I'm gonna say, like, unless absolutely necessary, only active players will be rolling. Uh, 
so only Helugandr realizes that uh, basically it's it's something you have faced, uh, or rather Helugandr remembers they faced something like this before. Basically, it's like invisible rune that creates an invisible spherical magical sensor, and that if triggered would explode in a fireball. It's a fireball rune. <laughs> Uh, but only, but only, only Helugander <laughs> realizes where it is and what does it do? Well, that... Do you let us all die in a fiery explosion, or do you just be like, yeah, that's a fucking bomb? Mm hmm. That I will be told to the others because I don't need them stepping on it when I'm next to them. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Helgar, uh, let me just, pr um, you know, fix my wings real quick. Guys, keep going, like, <laughs> leans back behind the wall. <laughs> Nothing suspicious about this. Mm. <laughs> anyway, let's... Uh... Just do that so everyone starts looking for the trap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Because I, I... Again, redundant question, but does anyone have fevery as a skill? Probably not. not. <laughs> or dispel no. magic. Wait, do you have access to rank free spells? Shit. Uh, yes. We do at level 5. Well, those two do at level 5. I don't. <laughs> um, I think I was thinking about picking up the spell magic, and then uh, Julius is like, but really, how, have we actually come across any use for it yet? And then we're like, no, we have it, so I'll, I'll take something else. <laughs> may or may not be so it's, yeah. so it's Julius' fault that I don't What? Know. <laughs> well, I, well I, I, ha I have an idea regardless, uh, <laughs> in, my, in my typical uh, brute force way. Um, what's So is, is it the one that we spotted? Is it the one that was like uh, over here? Yeah, I'm going to show it now that Helugander reported that. Yeah, the trap is like not visible to the eyes because, yeah, I'm just going to like copy and paste the description. But yeah, basically Helugander describes it and... Uh... I sent something wrong and used detect yes. magic. <laughs> I'm gonna completely like monkey brain this and uh, <laughs> pick up a rock and throw it at the uh, the sensor. <laughs> Hang on, as he picks up the rock, I'm gonna yeah, we'll hide behind another rock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Now here's the problem: it doesn't really specify the fucking trigger. Actually, hold on, it should. Ah, okay. Uh, you throw a rock. It's not a living creature. You throw the rock. The rock, ping, ping, ping. Nothing happens. Fuck, where's our human? <laughs> <laughs> Question. Well, yeah, actually, how uh... do Mercury elementals feel about fire damage? <laughs> Are they? Is it considered a living being though? Mm. Uh, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Mm. As funny as that would be, if I could get the if I get the undead benefits, I could ent I could entirely circumvent this. No, I meant the uh, mercury elemental, not you. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they do not have any specific resistances or weaknesses or immunities. I think they count as a living being. So, do we fight? Are there any small bugs or uh, what woodland animals we can chuck at it? What? Do you believe we have a tracker on the party? It's a Tetric. Let's go grab like a bunny and throw it at the trap. Mm hmm. We should probably grab a couple, considering there might be more. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. If, De <laughs> if Dev shows up, I'll have to ask him, like, how does he feel to, like, you know, use animals? <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts upon throwing bunnies at the expire ball traps? <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean that's how it's... It's just like we're, having, we're in a mind and using canaries, right? <laughs> one, one at a time. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, if you go Next time we'll just get some hunters to come with us. About... Uh, of course. I mean, to be fair, yeah, you, you have like a very good uh, tracker, so about an hour later, you come back with a uh, bait. You chuck it at it, it explodes, there is a whole bit of like, not even, wait, hold on, mostly, yeah, it's fire damage. Uh, so it's, 
yeah, mostly charred splatter corpse of a bunny or they're like small animal. Uh, all around and the trap has been used. Obviously, it's not quiet and the echo of the firewall explosion carries like far throughout the uh, maze tunnel, but it's not like you are the most stealthy pi party either way. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of us has stealth as a skill, I'm pretty sure. People can improvise it, but no, nobody else got it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, oh, yeah, none of us have stealth as a skill. Cool, moving on. Mm. Harvey knows, plus three to it. For my dexterity bonus. Mm -hmm. I don't even have that. Mm. We can do that. That was a die that we, we, we could in fact see that bet. Yeah. yeah. I, I I like that I see it in chat, but the die itself just had question marks on its faces. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think Yeah, yeah, yeah so uh, like you don't see the modifiers, so it's it's actually that's a nice change. Okay, so yeah. you can uh, roll me another perception. Yeah, so I believe there is actually a there is actually an action for this, and it is the it is the I think the it is a modifier of at least three. Wrong, wrong one. I have a fortitude save, which is probably what I'm going to be rolling when I fail the perception check. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so equal. <clears throat> so. Um, Howard, you are able, first of all, from the previous tracking and survival, you know that the path deeper in, leading you towards the brain collector, is going upwards. And <clears throat> second thing, uh, you are pretty damn sure you, because you only equaled, so I'm gonna say you are unable to tell how many, but you are pretty damn sure there are some, there is a movement uh, up ahead. Even hey, guys, I got this. <laughs> I'm gonna move up front and then a uh, fireball at the end of the uh -oh. corridor down there. <laughs> so, uh, I proof. <laughs> yeah, so like you see, you see Havard sort of like gesture to oh, to like down the corridor. Um, Sort of in a motion of like, you know, something's moving. Mm -hmm. There you go. How, how's that look? <laughs> okay. Very good. As another fire, uh, well, a fireball is sent uh, towards the end of this corridor. I, I can only imagine the brain collectors going, I don't recall setting a second trap. <laughs> yeah, there is a, a massive uh, explosion. Thankfully, this mountain is quite sturdy, so you do not uh, cause a cave in. Um. Uh, and oh, that's uh, kind of a shit roll. Yeah, you. Holy shit! <laughs> you, you you actually you actually do not hear and uh, yeah it is a uh, well it's not a good roll. You do not uh, hear much sounds of uh, rather you do not hear any sounds of bodies being torn to pieces or uh, burned. Yeah, with fifteen damage. I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay, well Hayward is then going to move up. Um, and he's gonna, at the very least, try and get into this sort of like bigger room here, so that him and Kurzel could like stand shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and Howard, uh, you realize that it's slightly quieted down, but yeah, the, when I say like the movement, you didn't select from this specific spot, but it kind of sounds to you for me like an experienced warrior, and I think at this point I'm gonna uh, put you as uh, in combat mode. I don't know what that means. Uh, that, uh, no, it sounded more like, you know, enemy troops setting uh, up, like, initiative time. in positions to, like, uh, uh, ambush. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can roll initiative. Because we are getting to, like, interesting high stress situation. Oh, I cast 
can't actually delete that uh thing it put down. Uh, I'm just weird. Yeah, I can, I can. Oops. Um, I have some bonuses. Oh, okay. Yeah. In that case, yeah, that'd be a yeah plus two. Then in that case, eighteen for us both. Can I edit it? Yeah, I should be able to. One. Yeah, so Hello, Gan like. so Hello Gandru will also get 18, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, that's right, yeah, I need to place the effect because we actually get some temp HP as well. Should have done that before we, uh. Yeah, do You guys haven't rolled yet. It's like the... Oh well. I mean, it's fine. It's, you know. What's the worst that could happen? Death. Alright, oh, I sh need to put, like, begin encounter. You act like that's a bad thing. There they go. Also took a step. Uh, Still in the for two of them. Yeah, for now, you... Here's some footsteps, almost like shuffling, but there is no immediate uh, charge um, at you after this um, explosion. Uh, yeah, sadly, you are pretty sure that the fireball didn't really uh, get them. Uh, it is, it, j j just from like what we can see here, because of course Haymar can see both down like lanes here. Um, is is there? Are the sounds coming from one particular direction or? Uh, so actually, uh, like two to the left and right. Okay, well, uh, hey, is just gonna zero you then. Yeah, I think hey, is just gonna go in <laughs> since it seems as if that we are, uh, they are awaiting us, but thankfully, we will be on guard. <laughs> yeah, you are not surprised and. It's kind of quite intelligent of them to wait at you because you ha kind of have to go through this area to reach your target. Because we'll take the take the right entrance. <sighs> Look. Got you. As a. Uh, but immediately abandons his plans to take the left side and rush right. <laughs> Uh, let me just. Oh, that is slightly out of range. Fuck. It's, it's five feet out. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is I'm actually going to uh, make use of the ready action. <laughs> uh, just just on the off chance something happens to get closer. Right. But yeah, you also do recognize the creature. This is something you have, you have already fought with before. They surprisingly, they do not. They have not assumed any different form. Huh. These again? Huh? They are as you see them on the token. Alright. Anything else? Uh, nope. That is uh, me done. Okay. Hello, Gander. So we know one or one of them is that. Is there enough room for me to fly in here? Uh, yeah, like in this area, basically, like average ceiling height is ten feet. So no. Yeah, we're kind of bonking our heads here. Yeah, we so are. I will stride twice. <laughs> <laughs> God, forward. Uh, I I guess stride a third time to get here. <laughs> <laughs> God, forward. <laughs> <laughs> And that's my turn. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a move speed of 20 when I'm not flying. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, Alright. <clears throat> and that then you. The downside to being a Drake. And then you start hearing. Wait, do they speak anything? Yeah, they say something. Oh. 
Hmm, I've just realized there's a certain language that I feel like I should get for Hayward at some point. Huh. And you have a quick look at the ancestry just quickly, because I know that usually... Yeah, you hear this in this like weird uh, language that is loud but doesn't seem to carry in specific emotion and you'll start hearing uh, at least one pair of footsteps that is approaching uh, rapidly. Uh, yeah, essentially like free action strides to get towards Hayward. As around the corner from the left. Uh, I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, actually, ignore me. I'm, I was just looking at something. I was like, do we do do our ancestries get like language? Yeah, I just yeah, don't worry. I was just looking at something. I mean, regards to like bonus languages, but I have ten in, so no. <sighs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, that one creature approaches you, so that's your ready to action triggers. Yep. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Very nice hit strikes the creature. And yeah, that was its action and uh, cruzal. It's right up here. Can I? Here. Be here. Gonna be. I think there works where you were before. Uh, like just, just here. That that mm -hmm. is that is overlapping spaces. Remember. Yeah, that's what I'm checking. But yeah. could you be like one square over when you're up there? Like this just... and block. Let's see. Yeah. If... I'm not sure if I can click. I did it. I'm getting blocked, and oh my god, this entire movement is getting yeah, clear. Yeah, can, can, can we, um, yeah, can you reset, um, Kurzel's movement, please? Ugh. Just, uh, just... Ow. Uh, I, there should be, a, there should be a way to do it, I think, maybe by the... I think just put him, just put him next to me and we'll call it good. <laughs> I have no 15, idea what's going on anymore. 15 feet. Yeah, I can't go up there, so this is the first I can get. Hmm. Okay, well... Yes, yeah, so that, that's one action, at least. Yes, I fail. This calls for another fireball. Okay, let it rush. No, I'm here. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to cast the uh, Blazing Armory, and that's my turn. Alright. Gonna test it out. Yeah, that's my turn. Yeah, another one on the left. Uh, I'll just throw just around the corner. Uh, again, it has to make. Yeah, three strides, basically full turn to get. Uh, to like within range of Helgandra and Hayward. And then the one on the right, yeah, is just gonna go at. Result. Be bad. <clears throat> I need to click this button, and I have minus 2 to AC, due to my curse. Let's see how, how badly I die. Okay, uh, mm. it's gonna be striking. Come on. Yeah, actually, uh, you see that they are... They're, they're weird faceless forms. They do have uh, studded leather armor. And they are all armed with long swords. Oh, right away. Which are they? They look normal. They are not like magical weapons of any kind. So, like second action strike. Mm, nope. Oh. <laughs> and then last ah. action, multi attack penalty. Also no. So this tries to get through your defenses. It doesn't work. Man, that, 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 that level increase coming in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> mm, well, how did I set the walls here? Oh, yeah, it, it can definitely go like that. Yeah, two actions to get to Urzal, and then longsword attack. Hey. No. 
That's his turn. And then the last one. I gotta say, it, it, it's funny, like, when I uh, use the action to give them as a bonus to hit, they hit me. When I use the action to give me easier to hit, they miss me. All is balanced right in the world. <laughs> and then the last one, last uh, action to attack. Nature is healing, as they say. And then the last one redeems his faceless brethren and gets a fucking crit. Mm -hmm. And that's a rolled max. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's a, that's a fun time. Yeah, the, the first two, they do not uh, prove to be really any strong. And on average, they seem to be the weaker variant of the creature you fought before. But then the last one... Uh, mm -hmm. Somehow finding an opening and poof, pierces the uh, long certain. And yeah, Tetrick with his Pokemon is busy on the back line. Mm -hmm. And then the last one on the left will spend reactions to get to Havard. And as it happens, Havard, it is your turn. Okay, we're going to go for some demoralizing, I think. So we're going to go for the one that's just approached. I'm going to do that. Yep. Uh, which critical success? Uh, this one, right? Okay, so Frightened yep. 2. Uh, I'm then going to do the same for the one that is currently above me and next to Helagunde. That's not a crit. Nope, they're at least frightened. Does that mean they have to run? Uh, no, it just means they're taking a status penalty to their uh, attacks. As well as, like, as well as AC and all, all that good shit. Uh, and then Havard is going to go for... Uh, actually, let me have a quick look. What is this? I'm, you know what? They're all gonna get demoralized. <laughs> you get demoralized. You get demoralized. You all get demoralized. <laughs> I mean, I definitely like the automation. I can just like grab from the chat and apply the effect. Yeah. I think okay. one of the new update changed it. So like, if you crit succeeded, it shows me only crit success. So I don't have to like think what part I need to read. Yeah, let me just, uh, oh, damn it, they, damn it, they've changed something here, because now I can't, let me, uh, quickly just, I need to quickly just call something up, because apparently Agonizing Re Uh, they, they used to be something I had here, but, uh, apparently the, the Agonizing Rebuke now, oh, you can click on it, okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to quickly just, uh, pop that message out. Okay, so, that is, uh, that is my turn. I'm just going to go for one of these on the guy next to me. Yeah, go for it. The uh, the nice thing is, is that Frightened does reduce their AC as well. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is applied solid. Yeah, that's not a crit. It's close, but... Okay. I thought that just did as much damage as my fireball did. Uh, there, was also, <laughs> there is also the bleeding, if that's all relevant as well. Oh. Yes. Hold on. Uh, plus for bleed damage. Is that a persistent thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's persistent. Bleed is always persistent in this. And cap it off with a nice solid shield. Nice. Okay. That sounds like 